Hello, my name is Emily Byington. Hi, I'm Yvette Estrada. We are pleased to be here to discuss our presentation on a third year service lo learning rotation program, dental students' perceptions of community engagement experiences. Our program is sponsored by Ryan White's Part F Community-Based Dental Partnership Program at Columbia University College of Dental Medicine under Program Director, Dr. Carol Kinzel. With Ryan White's support over 15 years, Columbia University College of Dental Medicine has partnered with multiple community partners to implement a comprehensive dental care delivery system for people living with HIV and AIDS in Harlem, Northern Manhattan, and the South Bronx in New York City. A new week-long service learning rotation has been integrated into the third year dental student curriculum. Dental analysis from this pilot year will be used for program quality improvement and modification. This program provides a well-rounded educational experience incorporating four levels of training. These include self-paced lectures and modules, various points of assessment in order to gauge knowledge and attitude changes throughout the program, experiential learning, including clinical and oral health education and outreach, with our community partners and evaluation, such as reflection logs and supervisor feedback. Data were analyzed using paired t-tests and ANOVAs. Our results showed that 95 students rotated through the program in the spring 2021 semester. The experience was well received with 79% of students rating the overall experience seven or higher out of 10, with an average rating of eight. Attitudes so, such as self-reported willingness, preparedness, and confidence to treat people living with HIV and AIDS, and the future likely, likelihood of treating people living with HIV and AIDS improved significantly pre to post. And as Yvette just mentioned, Several items showed significant changes from pre to post rotation surveys, so we wanted to highlight them here. We found it particularly interesting to look at how students' confidence levels increased. For example, we saw a large increase in students' preparedness to treat patients with HIV and AIDS, confidence about oral health and HIV in outreach, and confidence to ask patients about at-risk behaviors. We also saw an increase in both clinical and oral health educational knowledge, as well as an increased likelihood to pursue a career treating people living with HIV and AIDS. We also found that those with no previous clinical HIV experience showed a greater pre-post change in feeling prepared to, to treat people from different backgrounds and people living with HIV and AIDS. In conclusion, we found that third year dental students had enriching experiences with community-based partners. Pre-post surveys suggest the experience had a positive impact on students' clinical preparedness, confidence, and attitudes related to HIV care. We also found prior clinical HIV experience can impact a student's learning. These results show that service learning-based education provides a meaningful context for educational programs that train dental students to treat people living with HIV and AIDS. And similar programs should be reinforced throughout the four-year dental school curriculum. We want to thank HRSA and the HIV AIDS Bureau for continuing to support these important educational programs. Thank you. Thank you.